Welcome to the Brothers Geek podcast. Wow, I fucked that up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go again. Here we go again. Well done. Do it. Oh, we got <sighs> that, that, That's the perfect. Hello. Intro, dude. Okay. We are the Brothers Hello. Geek, and this is our podcast. Am... That's it. <laughs> <I'm laughs> to say that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Okay. We're what, are we? No. We Patrick, are what are we, Patrick? Patrick, what are we? We are the Brothers Geek, and this is our podcast. Yes. Yeah. We are brothers, and um, we're geeks, and we talk about geeky stuff, and I that's am, what and we do. I am, I am Andrew. You are Christopher. I'm Don't lie to the listeners. You're right. He's Christopher, and we lie to them all Patrick the time because we pretend like we like each other all the time. Oh, oh wow! Yes. <laughs> it's so difficult. It My is name is Patrick. With, uh, I am one of the three brothers, geek, and um, yeah. Thanks for listening, everyone. Patrick, Andrew, yeah. Chris. Thanks, thanks for Patrick, showing Andrew, up. Chris, thanks for showing oh, yes. up. Yes, thanks for showing up. I would like to comment on something. Uh, Andrew's, girlfriend, Andrew's girlfriend, Andrew's uh, girlfriend, Adria. She uh, commented that she was excited about the last episode, excited that we had posted one. And Shout was, out to Adria. I was yep. confused by this on Facebook, <clears throat> but because, like, yeah. who wants to hear us just ramble on and make fun of each other she, for an she hour? She's a fan. Well, I know, she, but is she a fan well, because... She's she she exercises you? excellent judgment, in my view. Okay, well, uh, on on some things, I just am surprised <clears> by that, that any would like. Yep. I mean, yep, on some things. I what guess she I... sees in Andrew. <laughs> True statement. Got to like, got to sit her down. I got her. I got her. I got her. I got her, her, I got her that. snowed. That's for sure. Yeah. She she told a story today. She she was listening to. Our most recent episode today at work, and yeah. she was laughing yeah. out loud at a comment that Christopher made, and okay. she actually got like a weird look from her neighbor. Oh, nice! She sits in a cute farm. That's, she does the same job. What was the comment? That's high comment? praise. <laughs> That's high yeah. praise. Do you know what the comment was she, specifically? If you're listening to us, yeah, I do. Me, I do know the comment. Looks. If Christopher would shut the frack up for a second, <laughs> I can finish my story. If if that that is high praise for this podcast, high praise. Yeah. If listening to she us, she was laughing at Christopher's ripping on success. Gotham and calling it. She just should have called it the Baby Batman Show. Baby she, Batman. She was she was laughing at that. <laughs> that is funny. I take it is funny. That. Absolutely. I think I said that. I think Christopher agreed with my <laughs> Baby Batman comment. No, no, she no, might no, have no, been no, laughing at Christopher's laugh because his high pitched laugh yeah, is so distinctive. It is distinctive. It's true. We all yeah. have like we all have like the big belly laughs. You notice that we get that from our father. <laughs> We do. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We just laugh. Not, yeah. No, no. It's not good for radio, no, yeah. though. No. Not, it's not good radio. <sighs> well, that's good. Thank you for listening. We well, appreciate yes. you. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, and we love okay. doing this, and uh, Oops, we love people enjoying us loving this. So, yep. um, I certainly don't do it to talk to my freaking brothers. <laughs> nope. Um, so something kind of crazy happen i'm gonna start off i'm gonna start off with like the little point that happened and then we're gonna talk about the big picture here the little this point news? Was happen- yeah, this is, this is, oh thank you christopher for doing that yep. this just in we don't um, we don't yeah we don't have we don't have you do you have a soundboard can you no no can you do I, the sounds? I, I i'm not that what high. good what good are you aren't you the audio guy yeah, but th- that costs money. I'm Get a, a student. fucking soundboard then. I'm a student. Buy me a soundboard. Okay, so buy me a soundboard time, money bag. Okay. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we have to work with. Okay. <laughs> I was appreciating you doing that. I wasn't ripping on you. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, Go. The thing that happened was the Avengers 2 trailer leaked. This is the thing that's whoa, interesting. Whoa, is whoa. it leaked? Before you go any further, dude, it's not called Avengers 2. It's, it's specifically Avengers called Age of Avengers Ultron. Ultron. It's a terrible. What, we are the Brothers Geek. Come on, dude. No, no, no it but right. it's Avengers Accuracy. 2. It's Avengers 2. Accuracy reporting. The it's Avengers, Avengers, Avengers movie. You second, second Avengers, Avengers movie. You can say the second Avengers movie. That is accurate. When you say Avengers 2, you suggest that's the title. No, Don't do that. It's not the title. It's it's the second Avengers. The, I know, but the when you say it. it like that, Avengers 2, you suggest that that's the title. It's the second <laughs> Avengers movie. Let's be, be clear about this. Okay. Andrew, but, what's the yeah. title? <laughs> Avengers Age of Ultron. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now that we've 
Avengers. Now that we've colon. clarified that, Age of now, Ultron. Jesus. Yeah, now colon. colon. Thanks. Um, so it leaked because it was supposed to now air. Hold on. Hold on. Ascension. It was supposed to. It Leak. was supposed to air. Colon and yeah, no. It was supposed to air this week with the Christopher the, Focus. The, with the Agents of Shield what? episode, it was supposed to air with it during that episode, and it leaked this ahead leaks. of time. And 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 Christopher texted me that it was leaked, and I found out on a website. And actually, Chris and actually I Andrew was it. trying to find it and couldn't because Disney was like, "I no, saw no, it before no. they pulled it, right?" And then they re they re released it. it exactly. They re- actually. Released it for official. They yeah, re- released yeah. it for I saw official it, because I saw the leaked version. You it said s- April 2015 in they, the leaked version. They can't. They couldn't stop the. They couldn't stop the 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 internets from spreading it. So they just said, "Okay, let's." No, do this. I mean they. No, they did the the link that Chris. I was. I remember this vividly because I was so frustrated. I was at the gym when Chris sent that text message, yeah, and I'm like yeah. googling it on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find it, and I'm like, "Send me a good link. Send me a good link." And Christopher sent a link to the Evernote that we share yeah. for the podcast, and the exactly freaking link where, in the I, Evernote I, wouldn't yeah. load. Yeah. It wouldn't I, uh, load. I Disney watched it. Jumped on it so fast. They jumped. That the well, Disney, link got man. taken down Dude. almost immediately. Dude, I watched. Then it they on... tweeted out. They tweeted out. Damn Hydra! That was yeah, funny. That was actually. funny. That, that they, they handled that, that well. Was pretty cool. Um, but 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 um, I watched it on a website, and then I was when you sent back that you couldn't find it. I was going to send you the link to the website I had watched it on, but it, they had already removed it. I watched it twice, oh, yeah. and then was about to. Yeah about to um send it to you so that's like the the initial thing is like i think it's interesting that it leaked it's interesting that like they tried to fight it and then they couldn't so they just said accept it and then hail like yep. damn hydra that's funny so that's like the whole meta thing that's going on but but i would like to talk to you guys about what you think of this trailer what 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 are your initial reactions i've watched it probably the things five we times saw. the things we saw what do we what do we predict about the story what do we predict about the imagery that we are seeing and where these things take place and what 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 we're what we're going to get out of this story cuz this is a very dark trailer. Okay. This is a very dark trailer. Okay, let me, before we go any further, it can be found on imdb.com. Well, now on the actual Age of Ultron page for imdb.com well, you can watch the trailer in the that's been no, released. in the show notes we should probably post a we'll link post to a it. link in There's, the show it's notes on YouTube. so you it's all can YouTube go there and look now. at it it's on yes. youtube now so yes. we'll, we'll post a youtube link or something in it and you can go watch it my so you, no my first reaction to the trailer was a there's hulk buster hulk buster iron man armor, armor yep. which is freaking awesome yep i love that that they're they're incorporating that so obviously they're still having problems with the hulk he still cannot be controlled. So at some point, the Hulk and Iron Man will tangle. There's a couple of in imagery the Iron Man that Hulkbuster armor. There's a couple of imagery. There's a couple of shots that like help with that idea too. Where like you see Bruce Banner like sitting in the Quinjet, and like he looks he looks disheveled, and like Thor is not looking at him, and and uh, Black Widow's looking away from him too. Like maybe. Maybe they just got done fighting him, and he's turned back into Bruce Banner, and they can't even yeah, look like at him. Yeah, he's ashamed or something. He's ashamed. Exactly. Exactly. There's tons yeah, of that. Cool. Well, and there's yeah. also there's also a very very interesting image of you see Black Widow and you see you know Hulk's giant green hand, yes. and it looks as though they're like pressing their hands against each other. So there's this moment of tenderness right. between the Black Widow and the Hulk. It's real quick. What, however that happens, yeah. I mean, it's just a few seconds on the trailer there. But that has so – that uh, I mean, the connotations to that image alone are, I mean, are far-reaching in terms well, of what and, that could mean, what that moment could about, be in the story. You think it just about means the, she's calming him down. Or it calm, could just mean exactly, she's calming him down. Exactly, but how does that even possible? He turns back it's into crazy. Banner. Well, well, I mean, what, what's, yeah. what's that chick's name that's, I mean, sh- she's played by uh, Jennifer Connelly. Woman. The, the, woman. Sorry, woman. This is why I don't have a girlfriend. Um, she's, Among she, other reasons. Jennifer Connelly and uh, she's Betty played Ross. Betty Ross. 
She was always like yeah. the one who could calm him down. Everybody like wants to shoot the bullets and like blow up the Hulk, and then she walks up and is like, "No, no, no," because like, he's Bruce Banner's deeply in love with her. Exactly. So he's the Hulk is able to kind of like focus but, on Betty, but she's he has to, that side of him. But but like the connection between Black Widow and the Hulk has increased since. Well, the that's Avengers what movie. the yeah. tra- image in the trailer right. They're not Tells love, us. but there's a friendship love now. There's a Maybe. adventure, Who knows? teammate love. That's a suggestion. That's for a sure. suggestion. Okay. Yeah. So that's interesting. It okay. Be, so that's it one. Could be a lot of different stuff. That's a one element. You it saw really the could. you saw the Hulkbuster armor, which which is awesome. You actually get yes. to see Hulkbuster armor fighting the Hulk, which is awesome. Um, yeah. And what else? What else have we got? There is lots you don't of actually see a lot of. Go yeah, ahead, I'm sorry. There's, there's one shot of Ultron, like actual Ultron. I think there's no, a couple. They 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 reveal the evolution of Ultron. Yeah. Like like his his suit, you know, coming From alive. His initial, I mean, remember, his Ultron, it looks like, like they are they are teeing up the Ultron being the AI mm-hmm. and yes. then he constructs his own body. Right. And yes. then that opening shot where he's like, there's the hand that is covered in the molten metal. Yes. He is create manufacturing himself. Well, yes. and, and so then him my, like the picking up the suggestion is is that, and then the song that they sing is that he's not a puppet P- anymore, right, and he's right, freed right. himself from the strings. Right, all of that is indicative of Ultron becoming self aware. And then constructing uh-huh. an initial body of scrap parts or whatever out of Stark tech. And then it goes yes. from there to constructing a body because that's that molten metal scene, well, right? Well, it's well, when adamantium you, yeah. or vibranium. When you see when you see the when you see Ultron, the like weird messed up Ultron pick up the Iron Man yeah, suit and crush it incomplete, incomplete yeah. like yeah. He, he crushes the Iron Man suit. If you watch that for a second, you can see that the Iron Man suit is actually full of like robotics. So I think that was like a first draft of like well, yeah, Iron, Ma- heard, Iron Man suits. Even hold on, hold on. Iron Man suits that are, are not worn by Iron Man. They are robots. Well, they've already released details of the plot. No, 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 no. You're, you're missing something. They've already released details of the plot of Tony Stark has created something called the Iron Legion, right. which is a which is an That's like an comics. army That's of totally, Iron yeah. Man drones. And Ultron is the singular intelligence that runs the Iron Legion. Nice. And he becomes self aware. And there's a scene where Iron Man, well, Ultron becomes self aware. And commands the Iron Legion to attack the Avengers. But it seems as though piecing together that image of him kind of put together through scrap metal parts is he created this battle so that somehow the scrap metal could be utilized to create his first body. So he can in, in, inhabit this body, whereas he will no longer like be... I, it's an interesting kind of thing for me to think about because we always... We have this new idea in... Um, in like sci-fi movies where there's artificial intelligence where it's like a virus that can go anywhere on the internet. Yeah. But it seems as though for Ultron to become fully himself, he has to become material and he has to inhabit a body. Because, I mean, it's like this, the ultimate power to be in cyberspace and the internet is to go anywhere, have to be inhabit any kind of system you want to control the flow of information there's been there's been more you know in the most recent years that's been kind of the image of an artificial intelligence as being able that's to inhabit connection. any that's, system at once. That's the connection with the Iron Legion. There the the program is written yeah. in such a way that it, it it is fully realized or it it per, it it sees as part of its purpose and is activated by the the agency of the artificial. Iron Man, right? So 
That's yes. part of what it views itself. I mean, this is all, you know, spe- crazy this is speculation. Very, this is but, total, spe- yeah, um, total speculation, but it so, makes but that's, sense. I mean, that, in, my mind, in my mind, it's not AI that just is resident in the computer. It is AI. The connection to the Iron Legion is the key thing that will lead yeah. the self-aware Ultron to want to construct a body. Well, there's there's yes. an element there's an element that you're that like it talks about in the trailer, like the overarching theme from what James Spader is voicing over is you want to change things, but you don't want anything to change. Like you want to help, but, but like, so as Ultron's ultimate goal is like human beings cannot protect themselves. Kind of like the, the iRobot kind of a theme where it's like, you can't protect yourself. I'm going to tell you, um, like um i'm going to i'm going to protect you from yourself and like the people who are causing problems i'll just murder yeah th- and, i don't and, think that's it yeah. though ultron's ultimate goal is to wipe out humanity but like is he wiping out humanity to protect them from themselves like no, not no. like completely eliminate humanity like he's not a protector he's not a protector but like that that's the vibe that I've gotten from the. It's mm, like I will I, ru- I will rule you so that you will be like. But that's better like, that protected. was like Loki's. No, but that no, that, that was Loki, kind of Loki's Loki, bent on it. He's Loki like, no, I think freedom. I, Ultron is, really- is a villain that just wants to wipe out humans. He can create the perfect. He can create a perfect society by constructing. So pieces of himself in various okay, okay, robots yeah. and then giving a piece of the AI to all those robots and he doesn't need humans. So human beings are like like a, a flaw to the world that he needs to eradicate. That's that's what you're saying. Pretty much. It's like okay. I was, yeah, I no, was I mean, the I, vibe I got I, from I'm the trailer see, was the I'm other way to though. See how Whedon you know, Whedon obviously is very creative, knows all these themes. Mm-hmm. I'm fascinated to see sort of what his take on all of that is because, I am you know, well. the, the the Ultron in the comics is not that nuanced. He's just straightforward. I'm going to kill you all. Right. Um, yeah. And um, there's actually supposed so, to be a uh, um, uh, a scene from Avengers two. That was supposed to be the trailer for you Avengers. You keep saying it, Avengers 2, and it really the, makes me mad. Shut up. Uh, the Age of Ultron Avengers trailer that is supposed to be... Ha- that was supposed to happen with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but but it it's actually going to be a clip from the movie. Yeah, they're going to show a scene. They're going to show a scene. Yeah, instead during of the tomorrow. trailer, they're now going right. to show more of the movie, which yeah. is awesome. Which is good. Um, totally I'm glad, awesome. I'm glad they're still doing something. Um, yeah. But, um... Well, I, I've been... I mean, we can... We'll talk about it more in scene, but I've been watching Age of... I mean, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. this whole season, and I'm digging on it. I well, like where the show's been this do, season. Do, but, we, do so. we have any more to talk about the, the trailer? Like, is there more... Th- more things that, or should we move well, on? We could, there's a ton we could of stuff beat its death. Trailer, there's, there's, we yeah. could beat yeah. it to death. If we really wanted to. There's, there's so much. There, I'm curious about the imagery of like the the place that's in the snow. We see like lots of tanks, and we see lots of explosions in this place. We it, are they like overthrowing some dictator or something? It gives me a very like Latveria vibe. Um, yes, like, I, I have the same kind of thing. Um, and and like the part with. That leads into civil war. If that's what this is leading to, that starts off with secret war, which was the send in dudes to kill uh, Victor Von Doom in Latveria um, secretly. They can't pull in. They can't. They can't Victor do that Von Doom, though. He's, they can't do Victor Von a, Doom. He's a Fantastic Four right. property, he's a and Fox that's owned property. by Twentieth Century Fox. Yeah. So it, I'm curious about that because I want it to be Victor Von Doom. <laughs> I want them to be going yeah. in there to overthrow him, and the the moment of Captain America not choosing not to kill him, and and Iron Man smoking him, um, that's in the comics yeah. is is what begins the it, it begins uh, Civil War, you know, um, and that's what this looks like it's leading towards. 
with with Iron Man making bad decisions and the rest of them not agreeing with his power that he's he's decided he has to protect the world. So I love it. I'm really pumped. Obviously, yeah, uh, me too. I I, 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 will, I will close. I will close. My only my final comment with regard to the trailer is the speculation on the internet related to what could be the secret reveal that hasn't been mentioned and there are clues in the trailer that are leading lots of speculation pointed to the appearance of Black Panther. Oh, who really? is my really? growing up is my absolute favorite he was one of my all-time favorite Marvel heroes. Well, they're doing and, they're talking about doing a Black is, Panther movie, aren't they? I know. So yeah. that's why that's why the broken shield, vibranium, Wakanda is the only source of it, right? Yeah. Andy yeah. Circus yeah. is people are suggesting that he is portraying a guy named Claw who is Black Panther's nemesis. Interesting. Uh-huh. Because he looks like Claw from the comics. I think it's Claw. Okay. Um, yeah, Andy Serkis yeah. is in so, it for like one shot, and he's got this like he's yes. got this handlebar a, like a key uh, shot. He's got what is that chin strap beard that he's got going on? Yeah, that's that's what it's weird. Yeah. So they think that the speculation that I've read is that he is playing Ulysses Claw. Interesting. Who, okay. Who who is a black panther nemesis well and so that's that has me okay most oh, okay so if that so, speculation is right that is badass well here's Where, the question I, I, yeah that's a great black panther is a great character a Here, great here's character. the question then in this movie you're speculating that there's going to be a black panther tie-in is there going to be yes. a hank pym tie-in for this is there going to be a ant-man tie-in is there going to be a spin-off of is this going to tie into the next Captain America movie? Is this like they love to do that? They love to do this. They're all going to. They're all going to be connected like that. They're all. Gonna I don't be know connected. about the Hank Pym, but the breaking of to. Cap's shield is a big deal. They need to. Re- sure. He needs to remake it. How are they going to remake it? They remake it by getting more vibranium, and then and yeah. and then Black Panther is in and they the get next more Captain vibranium by going to Wakanda. Oh. And Wakanda is just, you know, the most technologically advanced nation in the world, right? In the right. comic books. Yeah. And so they need that. They go there to get the assistance to remake yeah. the shield and maybe get his help, which would be freaking awesome. <laughs> I'm just I'm geeking out about it. just the idea That's of awesome. that. Oh, my God. Could they, cram, so could they cram all that into this movie, though? Maybe well, we it's... already know they're, they're putting the vision in there somehow. The vision Dude, shows the vision, up. I, yeah. There was no imagery of the vision at all, either. Like no. I was hoping they would show like the green face vision. I hope they hold that back. I don't want to see any you teaser. Uh, I want that. I want like I'm right where you're at, Chris. I want to see it, but I don't want to see it. Like I want it. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to see it. I want. Uh, I, I just want you to tease me enough so you go I crazy. Think, I think Vision is going to be like the end. He's going to be like the 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 big reveal at the end. The thing that solves the problem is going to be the Vision. Well, that could be the that could be the Pym tie-in. Mm. They could they could tweak the they could tweak the lore by saying they involve Pym right. helping Stark make Vision well, to come at Ultron something like here's that. Here's an idea. This is this is a theory here. What if they kill Tony Stark in this movie? The end of the movie is Tony Stark dies, and the Vision is out there, and Hank Pym is brought in by Shield to study and and figure out the Vision. To try to like, f- like understand him and like w- understand if he's a threat, you know, um, mm. and, and vision help and or help. Ultron. No, no, uh, Vision. Like, like Tony Stark is dead. And, you're going. And you're. I'm you're, going. I'm well, going, that's. I'm going that, off that the doesn't rails track here. because Tony Stark is going to appear in Captain America three. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's you're a, you're that's getting, a true you're speculating way off. Yeah, you're way off the right, reservation. Right. Bro. I think they. I think they want to. Yeah, no, there's, they there's so kill, much. Yeah, I think they want to kill Tony Stark. I think they're they're gonna try to. 
That's no, right. they're gonna ki- before they they'll kill Captain America uh, before they kill Tony Stark. No, yeah. they've already they've already f- announced that next summer is they're doing the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. So they're not Captain killing America off Tony 3. Stark. Dude. Captain America three will tee up Avengers they'll, they'll, three. They'll tur- they turn him, they turn they turn Iron War. Man into the villain. Yeah. yeah. Iron Man's uh, Iron Man's gonna be the villain, it's a, quote unquote villain. I quote, mean, yeah, he'll stand opposed. He'll, he'll stand opposed. He'll, he, Iron Man is the you know the side of the you know government control hmm. anti paranoia people. So yeah, okay, all right. Let's. Uh, I think I think that's good. Let's uh, move good. on to scene. We can. So so. So, Agents of Shield, Andrew, you were, you talked about that a little yeah. bit. Um, I'm really enjoying it as well. What what do you have to yeah. say about it? Like, what's uh, I've I've been enjoying it this season. I think it's a little bit darker than it was last season. They kind of lightened it up in the last couple episodes, especially the episode where Coulson and May have to go undercover. Yeah. I was to I thought that was pretty funny. A, you know, yeah. an artifact that kind of lightened up the theme, and it kind of pl- and I had some nice kind of lighter kind of jokey moments in it, and you know goofball situations you know it, it played on kind of the tropes of you know the undercover you know colson and may have to dance with each other to like in this party and they have to sneak in and she you know she's this hardcore kind of action person but she puts on a dress and she ends up being really hot those kind of things so it kind of played on kind of those goofy she can, cliches she can of ham the spy it up. movie she can ham it up and she, she can, can laugh yeah and that that was so yeah. funny like Seeing her in that yeah. that way, like it was, it was great. That yeah, it's added, a really it added a nice little that's lighter, a testament lighter episode, right? It's a testament to like how the character has been like ironed out. That we understand that she's this tough, rough, tumble kind of a, a girl she's got this woman. Tra- she's got kind of this tragic history yeah. where she's had to do some things she's not really proud of, and yeah. you know but, she's been she's been an assassin and she's kind of had to you know compromise maybe some of her, her values to get the mission done but she had a nice kind of lighter moments in in that episode so i like that and i ex- especially enjoyed most, most the most recent episode in terms of um adding the character of bobby morse yeah. who is the mockingbird she was featured very prominently in Brian Michael Bennis's run of the New Avengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love her character. What is Avengers. um? What is that actress's name? She's a Padalecki. She's the sister. And, to... and she's not a Padalecki. She's not a Padalecki. No. She's Pilecki. Her Pilecki. Name is Adrian Pilecki. I thought she she's was not related to. She's Jared. not related. No. Okay, I thought she not was. Okay, she was on Friday Night Lights That's... once upon a time. She is. She's really really not ugly like she is <laughs> dude she is like almost absurdly attractive just absurdly like, yes, absurdly attractive. tall and like, beautiful really really and not filled. ugly <laughs> she's really really not ugly at all like not at all she's just like yeah. just amazing and and the moments between her and I, I always forget is is it Fitz is the dude and Simmons is the girl like Simmons Gemma Simmons is her name yeah, Simmons yeah, the Simmons. moments between those two was hilarious it was so like oh, funny yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, that episode it definitely has that definitely episode has, had figured go ahead what, what? no go ahead Christopher please I was just gonna say that that episode has the fingerprints of Joss Whedon humor all over it. Yes, well, I was just about to say that the interaction between those two it very much had kind of like a Willow yes Buff vibe, like the dry yes. humor of Buffy, the dry kind of humor, the zany kind I'm, of genius. I'm watching that the show. Zany I'm watching that yep. episode, thinking, "Wow, he, he, I bet you he had a hand." It it just had all of that flavor, that gentle touches. Of subtle, yeah. sort of clever humor. You're so badass, and really I, great. I really am, great. I'm threatened by you, but I also love you, kind of a thing. Yes, like, yes, yes. yeah, they do a really good job. The and, writing is this season. The writing has been terrific. The performances I have been really, really good, dude. I really love this show. Yes. I I look yeah. forward to it every yeah, week. It's, good. Um, it's really strong. It's really been strong this year. It it's has been. been. Well, yep. I think because last year ended so strongly, like it just it just made me like yeah, they, they found do, their voice. They, they found, found their, their voice. voice. They had, they had we were worried about them keeping the narrative momentum. They lacked yep. narrative momentum in their first season, but oh, they, yeah. the yeah, last they, they arc and how shield, you know, rebuilding shield and kind of the the 
you know, and now, I mean, we've, there's a whole plot thread we haven't even touched on, the fact that Sky's father is kind of getting into the mix, and he's got this mysterious background, too, and he seems like he's kind What's of What's that guy's a, name? He was in got, Dune. Um, Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle McLaughlin. Like, it's funny, because I'm listening, he, I'm he listening to... The and yeah, the I'm David listening Lynch. to Dune, and all I can think about when oh, I listen uh, to Dune is Kyle McLaughlin, and he's in Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is hilarious. It's just like... Yes. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> Almost, oh, that movie's so horrible. Yeah, that right. Movie, that movie's so bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they're they're weaving all these interesting threads together, and I'm I'm digging on how the season is progressing right now. And I don't know how long Adrian Pilecki will be around as Mockingbird, she but I love that character from the comics. Are you guys going to watch? Long uh, she wants. Are, you gonna, no are, are you guys going to watch Agent Carter, which is kind of like the connection to Agents of Shield that they've sure. been teasing about? Yeah, no, give I'll it give it a, a shot. Why not? Sure, yeah. I'm interested. I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's sort of like the origins of of it's sh- the origins of Shield. It's supposed to tell the story of how just, Agent Carter helped to found Shield. Why not just weave that into the existing show? I like. I, I don't understand why they just don't like keep it what it is you well, can have, get, because she can carry it as a vehicle absolutely That's and it's, just a peri- say, it's a period Apple. show mm, period yeah. shows are hot Haley, all right the act the actress who plays uh agent carter Haley she's atwell she's she is great. a star she's a star so for she sure. can absolutely carry his show on her own and i'll have it'll be nice to have yeah. another tv show that'll have a an interesting strong female lead in the comic book totally, world because totally. so many so many so many comic book shows just have male leads and are dominated that way it'll be nice to have a comic book show that will have a very strong female lead character and Haley atwell can absolutely pull that off she was in the first Captain America movie, she adds a lot of depth, and her character is great in that movie. So I'm excited. Oh no, to watch she the show. was she was like she was one of the best parts of the first Captain America movie, the Captain oh, America easily. first first Avengers. Like she, yeah, she her, brought the her humor, wry humor in that right, and and her acting was fantastic, just just really good. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, have no, we, no. do we know when that show is supposed to premiere? Agents, I don't, Agent I, I don't know, but I think somebody could probably Google it if we were if we were so inclined to do so. If we who knows how to work the Google machine yeah, and find do, that out. I don't know how. To I, work I don't know. The, I don't know how to use the Google. What do you got to get on the, the interwebs? All those. It's a, all connect- those, <laughs> it's a terrible joke. Um, terrible. What else are you watching, Andrew? What else you got? What else am I watching? I have been watching The Flash. What do you think? And of that I show? will say this about. I'm going to say this. Okay. I the character of the Flash from the comic books, I am actually not a big fan of. I think his his power is kind of boring. Yep. I've never really been that invested in Barry Allen as a as a as like a well, regular kind of like Joe character. Well, and there's like six Flashes, so it's hard to keep track. Like Superman is Clark Kent. That's it. There's yeah. there's literally probably six people who have been called the Flash at yeah, any exactly. point. Wally West, and I have never, Barry yeah, Allen, Barry Allen, like, and uh, then there was the Golden Age Flash Golden that I can't Age remember Fl- his yeah, name. I can't, I'm blanking Jim Garrick. That's yeah, Jim Garrick. 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 Yeah, you have a was... memory. You're a freak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, and then Bart Allen. And Bart then, Allen. Good job. Yeah. 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 Um, so I have never been that interested in the flash as even when Jeff Johns was writing the book, when it was kind of a flagship book for DC, I really didn't get into I liked, it. At all. I like that. That was, that, that has moments of the show that are, are like, that has the same feel, the same vibe is the Jeff Johns yeah. flash. Oh, but I, I, I'm built, I'm, I'm building to the point of, I am enjoying the show very much because I mean, yeah, the Flash has, kind of, in my opinion, he's still kind of a one note hero. He can run really fast or whatever. But the guy who plays the Flash, Grant Gustin, is great. Oh yeah, and he humanizes him in such interesting ways. And the Barry Allen on the show and his whole team, his support team, Cisco and I forget the girl's name right now. Her, her the actress is Daniel Panabaker. She's, like she's going to become like a, a villain. She's uh, like Captain Snow really? or something like that. That's. That's what they're saying on the internet. I can't remember. Um, here, okay, let me, let me look that up while you're talking about it. Hold well, on. I, I just I I am enjoying the show and kind of the universe they've created in Central City. Kind of his Grant Gustin's take on the character, his kind of like goofiness and his earnestness. I'm really digging on that. It's a nice kind of counterpoint 
to how kind of dark and gritty and and a little bit grim Arrow can be sometimes. So I'm, Arrow, I'm, I'm, I'm Arrow like the is so flash. bleak and and like un full of not fun, and the Flash is just full of fun. That's that's how I mean. I I, 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 I like Arrow, and I oh I mean, no, I, I love Arrow. It can be very yeah. grim. And Stephen Amell is great as the Arrow, and his the whole cast is very rich, but it can be a little grim. And they've they've definitely gone the opposite way with the Flash. They, it's not to say that it's goofy and campy, but they definitely play up kind of a little bit of the sillier elements or the lighter elements of that character. So I'm digging on that. Christopher, do you have anything? Yeah. You've been watching it too, haven't you? Yeah, no, I uh, I like the. I, it's more light and. And I echo everything you said. The guy playing the Flash yeah. is excellent. I like his crew. They're not. They don't take the, sh- the show. Doesn't take itself too seriously. Arrow suffers from that um, sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's. I. Yeah, what do you mean? All the time. It's it's very yeah. very self serious. Um, whereas True. the Flash right, is. Right. This is a superhero show. So you know, yeah. I I like the fact that they've embraced that. Um, I, I like it. It's lighter. It's a uh, you know. It's a villain of the week. Um, it is. You know. I like all those things. Okay. Okay. So the character's name of the girl that's his helper is Caitlin Snow, and she becomes uh-huh. Killer Frost eventually. She's like a like an ice person that fights uh-huh. the Flash. She's a and and um, Raymond something Raymond um, is her boyfriend. Who died, and he becomes it becomes Firestorm. Firestorm. Yeah, yeah. So the moment when that. she's like in the last episode where he used a we're fire and ice, he's she's talking about him being Firestorm. And her, oh, what what am I getting? I'm cutting out. Are you guys still here? Yeah. yeah okay. Here. Sorry, I had like a moment of cutting out. That's weird. No, yeah, we get you. You're coming in loud and clear. Ooh. Um. So so Maybe that was hit interesting. Your face against the microphone though. Boom. Just hit it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sound like you hit your face against the microphone. No, I, I yeah, my my I think my stuff was a little loose. I apologize. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, that was like a little nod to the people who like know the comics a little well. I I was like I I was kind of familiar, but it wasn't like oh yeah, she's that. Oh damn, like I, I wasn't like well this huge this light is bulb. An, this is the interesting thing about about the Flash. The Flash has his own rogues gallery, much like Batman has a rogues gallery, yep. and they have iconic rogues in the Batman rogues gallery: Penguin, Joker, Riddler, Catwoman. Um, and there's many others that could be listed off that everybody kind of knows. The Flash has his own rogues gallery of recurring kind of right. villains right. that he takes on, well, but they're all like, kind yeah. of goofy. Yeah, Captain. <laughs> they're Cold. all none, none of them are. What's that? Captain what's that? Cold. What's that boomerang guy? Uh, Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. The Terrib- Trickster. Trickster. Terrible. Yeah, it, they're all kind of goofball villains who just kind of cause trouble. They're not really very threatening. Yeah. Killer Frost tends to be a little bit threatening, but for the most part, the Flash's Rogues Gallery, our Rogues Gallery, is a little bit goofball. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like. <laughs> So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of play all that up because I know in upcoming episodes there the the actor Wentworth Miller who has been in multiple shows he actually was the star of Prison Break back in the day he is appearing as Captain Cold he like has a freeze gun freeze gun um, oh my god yeah he's got a he's got a gun like that shoots ice and freezes things so we'll see it's the, all the villains tend to be a little bit goofball so let's see how they kind of play that up because it's an oh it's an inherently God. kind of silly universe that the flash inhabits yeah, a little bit i mean I because think. i like like in in the way that arrows is like very like military training and like shooting people and like everybody's got guns well, and, the, and the like the people kind he, of right. brutal nature of how he became the arrow and yeah, it was like yeah yeah it was a crucible is, that he went is, through this yeah. is just like silly powers fun that's happening and that's for good or bad. Like I'm enjoying it, but like it's very different than Arrow. I think very. Um, I, it's a nice counterpoint, though. I dig it. So. Yeah, I'm digging it as well, and yeah. I love that they're in the same universe. I hope there's more overlap. So, well, yeah, Felicity Smoke apparently is going to show up on tomorrow's episode of Flash. No We're kidding. Recording this, yeah, recording this Monday, this, uh, October 27th, and looks like previews show that Felicity Smoke 
who is, you know, the kind of the girl on uh, Arrow right now shows up on uh, on the she, Flash. She's my favorite she heard, character. She hears that Barry Allen comes out of his uh, comes out of his coma. She's so. she's she's the only character that's really silly on Arrow, and I love her. She's so great. Yeah, yeah. she's great on Arrow. Yeah, I love her character. On Arrow. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Christopher, what do you got for scene? Anything that we didn't go uh, uh, Walking Dead. Uh, yeah. Walking Dead. It's, it's great this year. Um, this last episode, yesterday, yesterday's episode was freaking great. Um, Insanely No brutal. spoilers. You, yeah, you, laugh, very... you laugh when you say it kind of like it's, it's the most horrible thing ever. It, and all you it's can do amazing is laugh. what they put on TV. Dude. Yeah. I mean, yes. Just, uh, Jeez. I'm always so like, the, they're showing what, that? What they, it's on cable and but on basic anyway cable. they've they yeah they've really pushed the envelope in terms of what's acceptable um you know it's a huge hit um and the the, the only other thing that I'll mention in terms of scene is uh, I'm binge watching Blacklist oh yeah um, yeah and you know it's so funny that I I just started watching it and they've been you know, like hyping it. Remember the last few cons that we've gone to? Yeah. yeah. Blacklist was a Blacklist was a huge deal. Like at WonderCon in Anaheim, there you know, Blacklist was the prominent banner. Okay, so, so sell, sell so, me on this show. What is it good? It's it is terrific. I can't believe that it took really? me this long. You know, for wow. whatever reason I just for whatever reason it just did not I, I didn't know why I didn't you know, James have Spader. an interest. It looks but terrible. Jim, yeah. Anyway, it is <laughs> it is fun, and Spader's character is he is a super criminal, um, who has everything as an ulterior motive. He is always yeah. the smartest person in the room. He is always the person who knows the most. Um, okay. and so it's it, it it appeals to the. This is my theory is is that it appeals to the con crowd because it has that element of super villain. Um, who is Lex Luthor like in that he is charismatic? He has got mm. seemingly unlimited resources. Seemingly okay. has a heart of gold directed at one character in particular, the, and the female FBI the, agent. Correct? Yes, yeah, Agent Keen is her name. And okay, every. It is everything around every all his. You are you wonder about his motivation, but one thing is very clear: that he is motivated to protect and help her. Mm. And you don't okay. know why. They haven't revealed why. Um, but anyway, he is the sort of the elevation of him is is that he is a. On, he has been super super criminal who's been you know on the FBI's 10 most wanted list forever no one has ever been able to find him he has been on the run for 20 years okay. and then in the pilot he turns himself in to the FBI Whoa. I remember watching the pilot and I think saying I watched the first couple only episodes speak, he saying that he will only communicate with agent Keen um, okay and it goes from there. And every episode is somebody from what has become known now as the blacklist. He works out a deal that says, I will help you capture or, or disable or kill all, of, all these super criminals that you don't even know exist. But I know they exist. And they're not even on your radar because yeah. they're so deep cover. But then he... he you know, all with a motive to help. He's continuing to do his criminal operation. That's the funny thing and the great thing about the show is, is that he continues to – he is like the, the – his, his uh, title is the concierge of crime. <laughs> okay. So he facilitates, he facilitates lots of other criminal activity. He, criminals come to him to disappear – to transport things, uh-huh. to pay so off. He's got, all, he's got all these ties. He is, he is all these wired connections. to everything. And so yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's really entertaining show. Spader carries the show because he is so charismatic. Yeah. 
as this villain. Is this is this show why why Spader got the job as Ultron? I have no doubt. Listen, I have zero doubt well, in my the reali- mind. The reality of Gene that Spader it was a huge. His voice is so incredibly distinctive and interesting. Yeah, Just yeah, his, right. yeah, his, I agree that, with that. Yeah, he's got yeah. the tone. How many, it's just, Christopher? How many? He's got the delivery you, yeah. that it's perfect for Ultron. Well, in my they're mind. in season two, right? Like they're yeah. yes. I am binge watching season one. Season two just premiered. There are a few episodes into season two. Um, how are you? Will, how are you watching season one? Where is it? At, it's on it, Netflix. It's on Netflix. Oh wow! It's, I yes, should get yes. caught up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will it's watch really this good. on your recommendation. It's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. Okay. So that's okay. That's my. Uh, that's the, what I will highlight for scenes. Do you guys hear that they're uh, they're gonna put the complete series of Friends on Netflix? Did you guys hear about that? I did not hear that. Yeah. How do you guys that's... feel about that? Did you did you watch Friends? what Friends? Oh God! Who Gen- cares? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. It's on like ten channels of syndication. Seriously? Right? Yeah. Right. I could care uh, less. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, uh-huh. Scene that we didn't talk about. Um, I have been kind of disappointed with Castle this season. Haven't been watching it. Uh, the whole, the whole like episode where there's like an invisible suit, kind of jumped the <laughs> shark for me. Oh, an invisible, an invisible suit? suit. Somebody, somebody like they're investigating no. somebody who dies. And, oh my gosh! And they they get in and out without anybody seeing them and. There's this government organization that makes this invisible camo suit that they that people can't see, and it's actually on screen. And they get into a fight with the dude that has on. It, it's like a silly. It's silly. That sounds epically silly. So I haven't watched it since. Uh, yeah, but I love I love Nathan Fillion, so I'm kind Fillion's of Fillion's the man. I yeah, kind of Fillion's feel the man. bad about it, but this season is like. They're jumping the shark, man. They're trying. Ugh, that's bothersome. Yes. Okay. Um. That it's not really yeah. a geek show, so I'm not going to comment that. But he's Nathan Fillion, and he was on Firefly, so there's the connection. Okay, everybody. Yep, yep. Um, always a connection made. Always a yeah, con- that's, connection. That's um, enough of a connection in my mind. Cora. I completely. Cora is still amazing. Um. Uh-huh. I really love where they're going with this show. I I mean it up, man. Um. I've got a, a request from uh, Mr. Shane Muyo, uh, the artist of our album artwork, who's working on yeah. uh, more album artwork currently, actually, while we're recording. He's standing over there. Um, he wants me to watch Death Note and talk about it on the show. Death Note? Because it's like there's a there's a there's a there's an element to geekness that is anime that I feel like we're missing. Ah, uh, okay. And I anime. will take the bullet of anime because I've watched a, a decent amount of anime in my life. Yeah. And so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch Death Note because I've never watched it. So next week I will report on Death okay. Note. Good. Death and Note. He's he's saying good over there. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him. But uh I can't hear him. Yeah, yeah. he's uh okay. yeah, he's so that's 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 what I have to say about that. And uh yeah, I watched Flash, I watched Arrow. Arrow was good. Um yeah, that's about it. Let's move on to Red. Let's move on to Red. What do you got, Andrew? What you got for Red? What do I have? I am slowly but surely getting caught up on Batman Eternal. Yeah. Um I have picked up all kind of the back issues. I'm three still three or four weeks behind. Uh, I'm continuing reading Hawkeye. Love that series. Still getting caught up on that. I'm reading. Uh, to be completely honest, a lot of my free time lately has been consumed with reading the Rick Riordan um, Heroes of Olympus, the last book in that series, The Blood of Olympus. I am enjoying that very much. It has very interesting kind of. It's a YA book. I'll admit I, it right I, now. I, I have a connection to that. Uh, I, I just they just added on HBO Go. Uh, Percy Jackson and Sea of Monsters, which is based on the book yeah. on, uh, by yeah. the Percy Jackson series. Yeah. Wait, have you seen that movie? It's freaking I have. awful. It's really bad. Yeah. It's really yeah, bad. No, the first, yeah, the movies are really bad. The books are 10 times better. What's it's, that? Ch- what, I, am, I have been a Greek. What's that chick's name who plays uh, that, that Alexandra Daddario? Oh. Whew. 
She's almost she's really really she's really great. really not ugly either. She's really not ugly. <laughs> like she's like she's got that absurd attractiveness. And she's also. in she's in the first season of uh, True Detective also. She's, oh yeah. She's oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Continue. She's Sorry. all of her. All of her. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait a yeah. second. Is she the young woman that? Yes. 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 Oh my. She's oh, in yeah. Percy she is Jackson. Very, very, very not uh, unattractive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She plays. She plays Percy Jackson's like partner. Yeah. She plays a daughter of Athena. Annabeth. In uh, the Annabeth. Percy Jackson yeah. series, Annabeth. Okay. And she tries to pull I just, off. I just an, watched this uh, like last a seventeen-year-old, an eighteen-year-old. It's absurd. Yeah, she is way, 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 and Logan Lerman looks kind of looks kind of teenage like. She looks like she's twenty five. Yep, yep. <laughs> and just because she is so, I mean, so, so, if you've seen True Detective, you know all about it. She is she has a shape to her that is very distinctive. There is a there is an element to this book, uh, the movie, even though it was awful. Like it made me want to read the books. Are they are they good? Like the Percy Jackson books. Like they're they're fun. They're written the the original five books, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians are yeah. writ, I mean are legitimately written for eleven year olds. Right. And they read like that, and they read really really quickly. It's very simple adventure. You know the but characters are not this complex. Is the same, this is the but same it's fun, guy, right? and it draws yeah, on all yeah. these elements. It, it, What's that? It has all this depth of Greek mythology, which I really like. I, I mean, I took multiple classes in college associated with Greek mythology, and I've read Greek mythology, and I it, love that. It kind I of pulls in all that, yeah. pulls in all those elements. So, if you know a little bit about Greek mythology, or have ever read kind of the original source material, the experience of reading these Percy Jackson books becomes much the richer, in my opinion. So that's why I kind of get into it. Yeah, they're definitely and then he's going to do even, like Norse god stuff. With this the next series writer, will right. be Norse gods. Yeah, I'm, I I might be tempted to read that just because I I love Norse gods and and be, Percy Jackson. Our family are Vikings. That's yeah. why. Exactly. The, the, this, yeah, I, this. I I have no idea what the plot will be. Right. I, I I think it'll take place. Here here's the thing. The, the he's announced the title for the first book. It's Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Magnus Here's the Chase. geeky connection. Is he to gonna? All of is this. he gonna be? Is he gonna be like the son of Thor or something? Like, here, is that, is but that what it is? we have no idea. But here, let me get to my point. The 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 character of Annabeth, yeah, in the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus series, Annabeth Chase, yeah, they. He has already built in to his stories the element of gods having children inside, like different children with as different aspects of the same god. Here, let me explain it this way. So the series that's currently going on, Percy Jackson Syndrome. is the son of Poseidon. Okay, I'm syndroming now. I'm, I agree with that. <laughs> Percy Jackson's the son of Poseidon. <laughs> in the series that's going on right now, there are – demigods who are the children of roman aspects of god of the gods okay so there are children of jupiter and there are children of zeus that are siblings that are children of the same human mother but the aspect of you know the the sky god jupiter has a child and zeus as the sky god has a child with the same mother and they're they have different attributes to them. Uh, that makes any sense. So the fact that the t- title of this newest book no is sense. Magnus Chase. Yeah, it makes <laughs> no sense. Magnus Chase makes me think that this Magnus Chase character is related to Annabeth Chase, oh. who is a demigod daughter of Athena. That's like Zo- that's like Percy Jackson's partner throughout all these books. Well, so that I was mean, my monologue about that. I know. I know a little. I mean, besides the the straight up Norse mythology, like I know, I mean Odin and Thor and Sif and 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 Loki and who else? I mean, there's a who's the, who's the big bearded dude? Uh, you know who I'm talking about? Um, yeah, but but, uh, but like no. like well, and the, and the 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 god who you know the Watcher god Heimdall or Heimdall. whatever. Heimdall, yeah, yeah, I love so Heimdall. I mean. There, and they have a, you know, there's a creation story and end of the world story. And it's, it's called it, Ragnarok. Idris Alba and, is you know, like the greatest guy ever for for 
Heimdall, by the way. To yeah, say. from the, in the Thor movies. Oh my god! So I, I haven't read enough Norse mythology to have that depth of the only, you'll re, really the only information I've ever gotten about Norse mythology came from the Thor comics. Mm. I have never read. I don't know what the source material is. Whether or not there's kind of um, if you want want to read Greek mythology, read Ovid's Metamorph- Metamorphoses. That's kind of the the compilation of the Greek myths. Metamorphoses. Yeah. Metamorphoses. Yeah. That's how it was pronounced by my professor in college. Metamorphoses. Um, Metamorphoses. Metam- <laughs> Metamorphoses. That is one hundred percent wrong. I don't know. If, so, I don't know what it is, but it's a book. Us, you can Chris, find it. Educated Christopher, what what, what yeah. is it? Metamorphoses. Metamorphoses. It's metamorphoses. The wrong Whatever. emphasis. On the wrong Every, syllable. On the wrong <laughs> syllable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we just went off on a huge tangent because I was tangent. just mentioning I'm reading the Percy Jackson books. It's the last Jesus. book in this series. The next book. The listeners yeah, so are I'm, all asleep. I'm, they are really asleep. Yeah. I'm falling asleep I, I like talking it. about it. I, I enjoy enjoying, the book. I'm enjoying talking about it. I love it. Greek mythology. So uh, I think, what else you got? That's pretty much what I got. Christopher, what do you got? I um, finished um, book one of the Powder Mage trilogy. Oh, you finished? Uh, did yes. It, did it end uh, with them summoning the god? Outst- yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not going to give it away, dude. Bro. Dang it. It's freaking great. Uh, is it, I, it's that good? good? It's good? Oh, my God. It is so What is, is What is really this book called? Good. What is this book called? Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm blanking on it because it's like the Powder Mage second... trilogy, but it's it's the first book. What's what's the what's the book? Called? What's yeah. the second? Is the second book out? Promise right of Blood. Now? Promise of Blood Prom- is book one. Promise yes, of the blood. second book is okay. out. Okay, the second you bought book it. Is, Are you the start second reading book? It? I am going to yes. The second book is the Crimson Campaign. Okay, and it is out. I need to add this to my Audible so um, I can listen to this because it sounds awesome. It, it ends on such a. Great. The two main storylines are wrapped up and not. It is. It's you know the it, it's you know the best books. Oh wow! Yeah. Do the wrap up the storyline, but then leave lots of open questions. I love and, it. Oh holy shit! What is coming down the is pipe? Is the writing it's, good? Do you enjoy? Yes. Like, is yes. It not it's very boring? good. Is it fun? It is, is not. Is it? Is it it's boring? fun. The world building is terrific. Chris, it's not Chris, brain candy. What is the um, what is the um, the books about the Master and Commander books? You like that boring crap? Patrick O'Brien. Yes. Oh yeah, that's yeah, great. Like, that's my oh yeah, that series is. Fantastic. But that's but but like that's that's its own flavor because yes, you, that, that is, is like very detailed. That is very dry. very dry. dry. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. is it like that? Am I gonna be like no, bored no, no, out of no, my no, mind? No, no. It's it's much more. More energetic, and okay, uh, okay. I mean, there are parts of the Patrick O'Brien series. That, that book, that series is awesome. You need to just get well, it, I get love- into it. There are lots <laughs> of great the battle scenes, the ship, the ship fighting is fantastic. The main characters are fantastic. No, this series is well, very different. <laughs> Sorry, very different. So, yeah, okay, good. but it's yeah. really good. The um, it's really good. So I'm moving on to book two, the Crimson Campaign, cool. and uh, I'm very excited to read it. Awesome. Uh, cool. Yep. Okay. Uh, I continue to listen to Dune. Uh, Dune is very, very good. Um, I've noticed since since the thing that happens in the middle of the book that kind of shakes things up. They have been the book has been very different than the movie that I've seen. Um, there's a lot of... The, yeah, the David Lynch movie is a nightmare. It deviates, like, for... Yes. Like, as I've been listening to it... It's terrible. The first, you can't the even... First, you can't, you gotta reject that I David know, Lynch movie from your but, mind. But, I, but like, in the initial listen-through, some of that very... Remi- it, like, the elements are very similar to the, the movie. And up until this point, things have been, like, very different. No. Because and I've read about this actually. Lynch changed a lot of that stuff because yeah. he had a different vision. Yeah. 
for sort of what they were doing and how they were doing it. And so that bullshit about the devices that they're wearing and yeah. using their voice to sort of inject this force and stuff like that yeah. is crap. It's not part of it's the It's not even in there. It's not part of the book at all. Yeah, it is like a total of, fabrication wow, really, by Lynch. It's that. terrible. Yeah, there's none yeah, of that there's in none the, of that. So so there's been this deviation. You got to forget it. Forget yeah. the movie. So I'm 100%. trying to I'm trying to forget it, but you know, it's like I watched it when I was a kid and you know I'm a movie yeah. crazy person, yeah. so I remember everything and, Off. Off. and it's like Off. um yeah, I so I'm I'm still enjoying it, but it's like it's like a fresh story now. It's like new new information. Yeah, good. You got to like, focus on what's in the book cuz the book is phenomenal that's what i'm that's what i'm doing yeah um yeah. that's pretty cool. much it i mean uh i don't i don't think i've been reading a lot of i feel like our a lot of our free time has been consumed with destiny over the last few weeks so that's speaking why we're kind of, of thin. let's moved on for to sure, play sure. because yeah so one thing do we all want to give an update of where we're at with destiny currently go for in terms it. of our go for it andrew tell us where you're at yes okay andrew, i have you? leveled i have leveled up to 22 yes i'm gradually building my light yesterday i ran the heroic daily story chapter he's speaking and it had a couple speaking of, another language to anybody who hasn't played this game this is amazing I, to hear I that sentence it. come out of andrew's, andrew's mouth, mouth is I stunning know, I, know. I am embracing the stunning game. He I is, played the, this is like yeah. the nerdiest Andrew's ever been. It is the nerdiest. The, the, inter, the most gamerly gamer I've nerd. ever been in my whole life. I love it. I love yeah. what you're doing about right this now. Game. Keep, keep, yeah. keep talking it's to good. me about Destiny. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I played the heroic daily chapter yesterday. I I took I attacked uh, Draxus and took out, you know, the yeah. Draxus is kind of the heavy boss for the Fallen. So I, I took him I on. I took that. it on alone. So when you get to Drax's throne room, you, um, you did it on twenty two. I did it on twenty two. Nice. Was it pretty rough? And I got, did you struggle? It was rough. I got smoked seven or eight. I Dude, got through that, the, the kind of the the daily is supposed to be hard. The daily yeah. is supposed to be a challenge, and they it was, ramp it up. So it's it's not even like a big deal that you died. No, I didn't hard. run it on twenty two. I ran it on twenty. Now that I think about okay, it, I, okay. I ran it on, it's still it ran tough. It on twenty. So it was it's hard. Still tough. Yeah. It was it was hard, and I got through it, and I got some really good drops off of it. Nice. I got I I was able to upgrade my armor, and I got a new auto rifle. So nice. I got blue, I'm totally outfitted with blue gear now. Cool. Kicked my light up to level twenty two, and I have a new kind of heavier uh, heavier blue auto rifle for my primary weapon. So running that was. Uh, we've talked about before the leveling as you run through the, you know, as you go from one to 20, the leveling is very consistent and it, you level without feeling like you've hit a lo- a deep Valley in the leveling process. But once you hit 20 and it becomes about the armor drops, you get gear, and kind of yeah, the light you can drops. add. Yeah. The gear drops. You definitely plateau. I was stuck at 21 for like a week and a half. And I, I was playing every I stuck day. It, I stuck at 24, for three weeks. Yeah, it's all about the drops because you get. I didn't get point. anything. It doesn't good. make me happy, dude, to hear that. I, I I got I got stuck and I wasn't get the 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 trick is the trick is is you you keep getting your rep up and keep getting marks and then you can, so you can buy, buy a legendary gear piece and then of and then gear. it'll pay off. You need yeah. to be yeah, no, I, and I've been grinding doing. Kind yeah. of vanguard to earn vanguard reps, so we can definitely, so I can buy some legendary it's gear. Not that, so I've got it's a, not that hard to get to two. It sounds like a daunting task, but if you grind it out and you do, oh, no, I can get. You, I, right. I just got to play. You got to play the right kind of missions. You got to do the right kind of bounties. Exactly. So it's exactly. just picking up the right just kind of bounties and bounties, running the right kind of patrols. Do the bounties. Do the patrols. Get the marks that you need so that you can you can buy the piece that you need and and you'll you'll level up you'll get legendaries. Yeah. And oh, something fine. else something else I did yesterday because I was running around on the moon. Um, I got involved in a world event where you have to defend a war sat, yeah. and I was I was by myself oh. <laughs> defending a war sat, and I actually got the gold tier achievement, nice. achievement for the world event by myself. Nice. It was so pretty proud intense. Of you. You're such a ge- you're such <laughs> a gamer <laughs> geek you. now, dude. I'm so, we're so proud. Of I have embraced it, man. This game is so much fun, <laughs> so much fun. Anyway, Christopher, yeah, Christopher, where are you at? Uh, I am just shy of. I'm 23, but just shy of 23. I need 
one upgrade, one piece of gear to push me over the top to 24. Gotcha. Um, I'm, um, you need 2,000 rep. Um, I, I'm a level one with Vanguard, and you need 2,000 rep to get to level two, and I'm at twelve around 1,200 oh, right now with Vanguard. You're, you're so I'm getting closer. I will continue to focus on, because that's my sort of the window, the, the quickest window in my mind, because I don't want to do the crucible uh, constantly, is to just do the dailies, grind out the Vanguard rep, so I can buy that first piece of legendary gear from the Vanguard um, Yeah. Vendor, and then that will help me sort of get, you know, leap up. And then once you're level two, you just have to grind up the marks to be able to buy your second piece of legendary gear. So it's, you know, I understand. I played MMOs, so I understand how all that works. So I just need to keep plugging away at that rep. They did that to, like, sort of, like, force delay the gratification. It's like they want you to keep playing... Because yeah. you're working towards, and it does it doesn't come easy. Like you got to get, you got to like really hit it hard to get to that. The point. the saving the saving grace is the gameplay. The gameplay is really fun. Yeah. The yeah. the shooting is really fun. I mean, it's repetitive, but if the gameplay and the control sucked, no one would be playing it because it's no. repetitive. But because the repetitive. the the controls and the gameplay are fun. Uh, you know, and you can challenge yourself to sort of get those pre- the, the bounties looks- that deal with precision shots and stuff like that, precision kills. Exactly. All of that is a challenge, so it's good. It's good. I, I'm well, I'm I, enjoying it a lot. I love I, I love the different races you have to take on on the different planets. I love yeah, that you yeah. you take on the fallen on the moon, and then the moon has elements of the hive as well. And those the I love they that they're like fighting different... each other. Like you, the environments yeah. are great. You can yeah, come on exactly. Great. Come on, the two of them, and they're battling it out, and they're not even like paying yeah, attention. You kill to them all. Them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just kill them all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, um, I let the queen sort them out. Exactly. <laughs> I uh, I have gotten last night. I got I got, I got to twenty six, and then last night I ran the raid with my alternate character. Uh, yeah, how'd that go? Uh, we got we we pretty much handled everything until Atheon, and then we were struggling um, because there's so many elements to that fight that are that are really everybody has to do their job very well there has mm-hmm. to be for it to work there has to be this person not dying this person not dying and there's no room for error everything up up until then you can you can fudge a little bit you know you can like okay mm-hmm. you can die here or or oh we messed up that we missed that but we're still okay if you mess up on the last boss, he will he will smoke you. And we just we just kept we kept getting it wrong. We kept not doing it right. And we tried and tried for like a good good couple hours to. Does get it reset on Tuesdays? Like every other. It, re, uh... it reset on Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So can you it, extend it, the lockout? It'll it'll reset tonight at at um at two a.m. Oh, okay. So so um. Uh, you can reset the lockout only if you're in it while you're – so like tonight if we log in at midnight and we're just not beating it, if we're still inside, we'll, it'll, it'll not reset until we leave. Oh, so, okay. But it, when, it, you, when right. you leave, it resets. Completely so you, resets. We have, you either, we, you you either to finish it. it tonight or it starts over. So, so like this is the second character. So like I've already beaten it on my other character because our crew. Yeah, but you want the gear, dude, right? right? You, well, yeah, I mean, that's well, the whole point. Here's the thing is like on my Warlock, off of the, um, I think it was the Templar fight, I got a chess piece for my for my warlock. So I equip that and now I'm like almost 27 and I just need to level up that chess piece because that's like that chess piece, the raid gear is the best gear in the game. So I will level that up and it'll get me to 28 probably having that chess piece on me. Um, I'm still rocking one pair of blue gloves, which I got to get rid of, but um, I got a shotgun uh, found verdict that is really good. 
off of the raid. I got a, I got a pretty hooked up from the raid actually. So, um, <laughs> pretty happy with it, and uh, we'll keep doing it. And and well, uh, when we uh, when we get our characters up there, Patrick, you're gonna. I'll, we're I'll gonna, take we'll I'll take you through with you. Yeah, I'll take you yeah. through, and and hopefully you will um, not suck like a couple of guys Andrew. that were playing with me last night. <laughs> Did you get randomly matched with No, people? no. I I okay, we have a friend of ours who's part of our clan and I don't I don't want to call anybody out, but he was struggling. Um and yeah, he, right. he kept dying. No, I, I, I actually he wasn't kind of about he this. He wasn't story. doing his job and so that was that was causing us to like I mean there was a couple of times where it was like okay, we're all kind of failing. This we just need to take a minute. But 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 there was a couple of times where we needed him to do something and he wasn't doing it. So you need to be in the raid. You really need to be on your shit because there's mm-hmm. no there's no room for you to fudge around. You gotta you gotta be good. And mm. this is the this is the time to. I see, have a bit see. of a fear of being the weak. Well. You will see if you can handle it or not through if you can get the door open. You'll be you, fine. You can handle it. Because because like you can watch the video that I posted on YouTube of us getting the door open. It's not easy. Like just to enter just to enter the raid is difficult. So Really? Yeah. Because cause you have to like tank these three you should watch the video of me doing it. There's these three different zones. And you hold the point, and there's waves of enemies that are coming. And while you hold it, there's a there's a tower being built, and you got to hold it for. If you hold it completely for the, it only takes like five minutes. You just got to hold it for five minutes. That doesn't sound like very long, but there's just waves and waves and waves of dudes and hard like minotaurs, like yellow minotaurs coming. Um. Oh no, Andrew dropped out. No, I'm back on now. Okay. Um, okay, sorry about that, guys. No, no worries. Um, there, um, there's waves of Minotaurs coming, and and they are like you can't kill them alone. Like they will smoke you, and um, so it, it's it's a challenge for sure. And and if it took us a while for, to get to the point where we can get the door open, so um, mm. um, yeah. I will uh, keep playing that. You should you should watch me on um, uh, YouTube, Twitch, Twitch. You can watch yeah. me on Twitch, my Twitch live stream. Feed. Yeah, I, I did it. I watched part of it on my phone last night. That awesome. was awesome. Wash Washburn three hundred. Uh, Twitch slash Twitch dot TV slash Washburn three hundred. So you should watch me on there. Cool. And then uh, you will stream it when we uh, when we get high enough. You're going to stream us when we make our the brothers defi- geek attempt. I will definitely. I've been streaming Sweet. all kinds of content, so more than just raid stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm down. Um, what you got yeah. for trivia, Andrew? What do I have for trivia? Okay, um, tonight I have a comic uh, themed trivia question for you both. Um, in um, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. This is official. (laughs) According to the Guinness Book of World Records, what is the single, in terms of issues, total issues sold, what is the single highest selling comic book issue ever? Death of Superman. Is our... I can hear typing. Are you googling this, Christopher? No, nope. <laughs> no cheating. No cheating. I'm not. No, I'm not googling it. I was actually just looking okay, at something. Okay, Patrick, that's your mind. that's your guess. Death of Superman. Yeah, what's, uh, what's your guess? Single, single, single in terms of total sales ever. The single issue with the most issues sold. Oh. The black, the black cover, Death of Superman. Uh, technically, and I'm gonna geek out on you right now, Patrick, because I actually looked it up in anticipation of this. It's actually Superman number seventy-five is where he actually dies. Nice. So that's the issue number. Uh, Chris, do you have a guess? Oh Jesus! Um, <laughs> my heart is telling me 
it would be a Spider-Man related uh, issue, but that I doubt that that's correct. Um, is there an era? Can you give a clue on the it era? It was in the early 90s. Early, early 90s. So yeah, that would put it right at the I, beginning of the yeah, modern age. Patrick's probably right. I'm a guy, I gotta say Death of Superman. Okay. Uh, that is an extremely good guess, and I did look it up to confirm it. And Superman 75, The Death of Superman, sold uh, over 3 million copies of that Ooh. single issue. Nice. But... The single, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the single issue which has sold the most copies is actually, in 1991, they relaunched the X-Men title. Oh. And it was, written by, it was co-written by Jim Lee and Chris Claremont, and Jim Lee did the art. Oh, wow. And with all of the reissues and all the reprinting and all the variant covers and everything else... Eight million issues were sold Holy. of X Men Volume Two Number One. Wow! Jeez. Eight million different copies. Serious of the single of that yes of that is single this, issue. Is this, is this the cover of where it's got like it's got um, Magneto on the cover? It, yes, it's like it, it's, it's like exactly it's the, like the fold out one where you put them together and it's yes. got like Wolverine on one side. That's and exactly what it yeah. is. That cover is like iconic, dude. I've iconic, seen that a million yeah. times. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Jim Lee, Jim eight over eight million copies. I'm of the sure, single issue. I'm sure everybody who has any inkling about like comics have seen this this cover before in their lives yeah. like it's yeah it's out there we'll post i'll post a link to the art in, oh, the, yeah. in the show notes oh i want to see it. that it's, yeah oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It, the uh the um the, jim lee is amazing too this that was like his height of his awesome too yeah That's he, one... he he got into drawing the the the, the x-men series with chris claremont in the late 80s yeah. and then he he built with such prestige it was the number one number one selling book every single week Jeez. or every single month when jim lee and chris claremont were on that in the late 80s and early 90s chris, and chris he actually claremont, relaunched the book yeah all all the all the x-men movies that we've seen have been based on chris claremont chris claremont story, stories yeah exactly that's how good he is that's like yeah, that's, it, yeah his stories are yeah it's crazy but that when I looked that up I, I had I, it's just crazy to me because I, I thought it was Death of Superman myself Superman number seventy five I thought that would be the single highest sure. issue single highest selling issue ever and it was in fact in terms of reprints and everything else and variant copies it was that issue of X Men number one over eight million copies have been sold oh wow so crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm looking at that picture right now. Jeez. Yeah, we'll, awesome. we'll post we'll post the uh, the link to the picture on on the show notes. But they're looking at it right now. That is so it's it's quite iconic. Cool. I think very I might cool. have had a issue of this when I in the 90s. Like I think I might have bought like one of those. I think Makes I had over read it. eight million of them out there. I think I had the I think I had the one with like uh, Colossus and Gambit and and Psylocke and Rogue in it. You see that one? Mm-hmm. That, that that's yeah. like an issue. You see how it's like blocked off into four issues? You can like see that. Um, well, if you well, if any of the listeners are out there are fans of the X Men comic or animated series from the mid nineties, yeah, you you'll recognize because this is this is the look that they adapted for all of the heroes yeah. goes into yeah, yeah, that yeah. animated series. It looks like Jim Lee's. Uh, uniform and how he designed the characters, they based that series on Jim Lee's interpretation of those characters. Totally, totally. Yeah. I think that's probably why I got it, because because of the X-Men TV show, the cartoon. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Christopher, what's your supplemental trivia question? Uh, you know, I'll save my supplemental for next week. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. Long. If you'd like to help Andrew with his trivia, you can email him at kinginthenorth52 at gmail.com. If you'd like to email the show about anything at all, questions or comments, you can email us at brothersgeekpodcast at gmail.com. You should follow us on Twitter at brothers underscore geek at twitter.com. You should come to our website, uh, brothersgeek.com, and watch videos of me killing aliens on destiny or read about 
things that Chris wrote or all that jazz. Um, <laughs> anything else? Yeah, that's it. That's pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Han shot first. Han shot first. I can't Never find forget. the thing to to pause it, so we're not we're gonna Han keep shot re- first. we're gonna keep recording. <laughs> 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 recording. 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 Recording.